The Modern Camouflage series began as a vision that I had of owls emerging from wallpaper. And I think on the one hand it was a commentary on the displacement of wild animals from native habitats into urban environments, and owls are certainly one of those animals that have in some cases become part of the urban landscape. But also it was a commentary on what has really been one of the major conflicts in the art world from the late 1800s almost up until the advent of postmodernism. And that's this question. Do we treat the canvas as artists as a window to the world, as a space that we can incredibly enter into with depth and Renaissance perspective, or do we treat it as a flat surface to be decorated? And pitting these very realistically painted owls against this very flat decorative treatment was um, a really interesting way to explore that and created a really marvelous tension. Modern Camouflage number seven is not really much of a departure from where that series began. The damask pattern is certainly a man-made pattern, but it's also very organic, very curvilinear. And as such, it's meant to suggest, rather than describe, the dense tangle of leaves and shrubbery um, in which one would typically encounter a wren, uh, for instance, in a suburban garden. Modern Camouflage number six, Union Jack, is a slightly different take on this inspiration. I was really excited to encounter this little European robin in a dense leafless hedgerow in winter in England, and that weave of branches uh, to me suggested this uh, very geometric matrix that you see in the painting. So we have an American robin, which is uh, not at all similar to the European robin, except that it has an orange breast, but it's named after it. So when I visited England, I was really excited to see the original robin. So um, for me, the robin will always be a bird that is um, uh, very much uh, a symbol of uh, what I think of when I think of England. I think of this very demure, beautiful little bird um, that's the European robin. And so when it came time to choose a color palette for the piece, I had already taken the natural environment of the bird and abstracted it, and I decided to further abstract the color. So these sort of desaturated red branches, these oxblood branches, um, become this geometric pattern, and the little triangles that show in between are white and blue. This is very much intended to be a desaturated take on the British flag, on the Union Jack, um, to uh, create a, a non-objective um, but vivid environment for this little robin to live in. 